Within the Roundhouse, history is being made for the first time in our state. Women are the majority members in the House of Representatives. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live with more. Rachel. Just out of 70 state reps, women now make up 37 of them. It's exciting, you know, it's exciting to, to see what's happening. And, it's, and I do, I truly believe that women get more done. We, um, we just, we have passion about, about the bills we carry, we fight for them, and we're very deliberate on, on the bills that, that we present. So I'm really excited about it, and I'm excited about working with more women. Obviously, I'm very excited. I'm very happy that New Mexican voters trust women to make decisions that are affecting our families, you know, whether that's uh, jobs, education, health care. I love that they're listening to women so that we are now providing our skills and our, our experiences to these conversations. 28 women are Democrats, followed by eight Republicans and one independent. Women in the House hold key positions, like the majority floor leader. Women are also chairs and vice chairs of House committees. We asked professors and political analysts on what this means to have the majority members being female. And the research on this is pretty clear that you tend to have much more compromise, uh, much more of a, a civil approach to policy making with a greater number of women. And so when you get to that critical threshold, you should expect to see different outcomes. So it brings in new perspectives to the debate over what are problems in the first place and how to look at sort of at different angles and different views of particular problems. Those who have studied women in legislative roles say they are more likely to prioritize issues related to women like paid family leave, child care, and even abortion. Now to this day, there has never been a female speaker in the New Mexico House, but women have still come a long way. Just 10 years ago, the Roundhouse finally built a women's bathroom nearby the House Members Lounge. Jess. All right, thank you, Rachel. UNM's political scientist told us that New Mexico is also one of the leaders in the nation for the number of female judges sitting on the bench.